This is WUAB-TV, Channel 43, serving Lorraine and Cleveland. Look in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's Super Hulk! Give me that shoe! Meet mild-mannered director trainee Henry Bookerstein becomes Super Hulk. And with powers far beyond those of ordinary men, Super Host brings you Saturday afternoon. And now, Soup's on! It is with a sad heart that we announce that one of Cleveland's most recognizable and beloved television icon has passed away. Legendary Marty Sullivan, who was featured as Super Host on WUAB from 1969 to 1989, died Friday morning, February 21, 2020, in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, at the age of 87. Marty Sullivan was one of the first legendary movie hosts that started in the 1960s. He ranked with other Cleveland legends like Gilardi, Houlihan and Big Chuck, The Ghoul, and later Big Chuck and Little John. When Saturday afternoon rolled around, children and adults would run to their television sets to watch Superhost. Sullivan was born on March 5, 1932, in Detroit, Michigan. He went to Assumption College, which is now the University of Windsor. Sullivan was a U.S. Navy veteran. After getting out of service, Sullivan worked as a staff announcer at WJR in Detroit. It wasn't long before he got a call to come work for the Cleveland radio station WGAR in 1963 as a beat reporter covering stories such as the Huff Riots. When Sullivan was unemployed for about six months, he heard about a brand new UHF station opening at the shopping mall in Parma. The station WAB Channel 43. He went and checked it out and was hired to do anything that needed doing. He was an announcer and a newsman, a cameraman, and a switchboard operator. In 1969, Marty was doing floor directing for the Big Beat Dance Party. On one occasion, he was setting up the lighting for the four lads who were scheduled to perform. He would stand in various positions to mark the spot for proper lighting so that when the four lads showed up for taping, everything would be perfect. A voice from the loudspeaker let Marty know he was unzipped. Hearing this in his headset, Marty began moving about and gyrating his hips. The sound room roared with laughter, and Superhost was born. As Superhost, Sullivan wore a red nose, blue uniform, red cape, red shorts, and a giant green Converse sneakers, the initials SH on his chest. The backdrop to Sullivan's show is offer featured children's crayon drawings of Superhost or various movie monster creatures or stars such as the Three Stooges from the clips that he presented. Sullivan hosted Soup's On! and the Mad Theater as the character Superhost that aired monster movies on Saturday afternoons from 1969 to 1989. During breaks in the movies, Superhost would star in skits, playing memorable characters such as the Moronic Woman and Convoy.
was the dark of the moon on the 6th of June in a Kenworth pulling logs. Cab over Pete with a reefer on and a Jimmy hauling hogs. We is heading for Bear on I-10, about a mile out of Shaky Town. I says, Pig Pen, this here's a rubber duck, and I'm about to put the hammer down. By the time we got into Tulsa town, we had 85 trucks in all. But there's a roadblock up on the clover leaf, and them bears is wall to wall. Yeah, them smokies as thick as bugs on a bumper. They even had a bear in the air. I says, calling all trucks, says, here's the duck. We about to go a hunting bear. Well, we rolled up Interstate 44 like a rocket sled on rails. We tore up all of our swindle sheets and left them setting on the scales. By the time we hit that shy town, them bears was getting smart. They brought up some reinforcements from the Illinois National Guard. There's armored cars, and tanks, and jeeps, and rigs of every size. Yeah, them chicken coops was full of bears, and choppers filled the skies. Well, we shot the line, we went for broke, with a thousand screaming trucks, and eleven long-haired friends of Jesus in a chartreuse microbus. Hey, rubber duck to softbuster, come on there, you have ten four softbuster, listen, you want to put that microbus in behind that suicide jockey? Yeah, he's home dynamite, he needs all the help he can get. Well, we laid a strip for the Jersey Shore and prepared to cross the line. I could see the bridge was lined with bears, but it didn't have a doggone dime. I says, Pink Pen, this here's a rubber duck. We just ain't going to pay no toll. So we crashed the gate doing 98. I says, let them truckers roll 10-4. Sullivan would also announce upcoming local events. Now, October 25th and 26th, a Yankee Doodle Dandy Children's Theater Series at the Ohio Theater Playhouse Square Center. For tickets, call 241-6000. And it's a Yankee Doodle Dandy just for the kids. But mommies and daddies can go too. Superhost even gave away a trip for four to Disney World to five children. <laughs> These are all the winners of the Kids Land Contest for the past, oh, load as many weeks. These are every one of the daily winners are in here. And today, Soup is going to pick five of these out, and they will be the grand prize winners. Yes, they will win the trip for Ford to Disney World. And you people whose names I call out of here, you will be contacted. You may rest assured. Sullivan and character as Superhost appeared in a few skits on WJW's Hoolahan and Big Chuck show over the years, notably in one installment of the popular Soul Man sketch of the 1970s. Don't touch that dial. Listen to... Rhyme does not pay. This is the city, your city, a rainy day in Cleveland town, a city full of all kinds of people. People like Filthy Pierre, the balloon man who sells balloons and a whole bunch of other things. Also in the city walks the champion of justice himself, disguised here as mild-mannered TV producer, Ed Tarbush. 
Pardon me, monsieur, says filthy Pierre. I've got something here that will interest you, some French playing cards. Oh, I'm afraid I have no use for them, says Ed Tarbush. You see, I don't gamble. No, 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 monsieur, these are no ordinary playing cards. Look on this. Oh, wow, thinks Ed. I hope no one saw me looking at that. I'd better get out of here. Oh, no, no, monsieur, pardon moi. For you, a little telescope. Just hold it up to the light and <laughs> it's a prize. Here! How embarrassing this is for Ed. Really, says Ed, all I came down time for was to get some soul pills. While Roth Warren has his annual sale, I can't afford to pass it up. Oh, monsieur, why didn't you say so? I've got something to knock your eyes out. Voila, black market, soul pills. Oh, no, Ed, don't be tempted. And for you, a special today of just one dollar, says filthy Pierre. Oh, wow, it looks like Ed can't resist the low price. He's going to buy them. Oh, no, what will you fans think of you, Ed? Oh, I don't like that crooked smile on filthy Pierre's face. Anxious to try out his new soul pills, Ed must find a convenient phone booth. He turns on his X-ray vision and looks through the walls of the building. Scanning the streets, Ed finds an empty phone booth. The temptation to try his new pills is too much for him and he springs into action. He runs to the convenient phone booth and takes the pills that transform him from mild-mannered TV producer into the feared crime fighter known as... Oh, no! <laughs> well, you get what you pay for. Oh, wow, will Ed Tarbush ever learn? Be with us again next time and find out when we present another thrill-packed episode of... Soul Man. Champion of the people, defender of truth, liberty, and the right of free enterprise. In a story Sullivan liked to tell, he would sometimes be pressed into service on Friday night when taping the Superhost show and have to also do live news breaks. So he'd quickly put on a jacket, shirt, and tie to do the news. While under the desk, he'd still have his Superhost costume on. Well, me and my friends love Larry and Mo. We love Curly's brother Shemp and his fat clone Joe. It's such a delight to boogie and hustle, dancing all night doing the Curly Shuffle. Saturday at 1 on Channel 43. Sullivan was inducted into the Ohio Broadcasters Hall of Fame in 1991 and received a National Academy of Television Arts and Science Silver Circle Award in 1997. <laughs> Back in November 2019, Sullivan returned to Northeast Ohio for the first time in 20 years, meeting fans and signing autographs in his famous superhost costume at Akron Comic Con. The Midnight Movie was lucky enough to be present for his triumphant return. Hey, who's shooting this? Give me that shoe! Can I get a sign? It's ten dollars for the picture, right? <clears throat> Can you make it out to the Midnight Movie guys? Sure. We grew up to you. So many memories. Put a magnet on the 
magnet on the back of it, and it sticks to the refrigerator. Oh, I can't believe a super host is in the house. That's the coolest thing ever. I wonder who he is, like, in his, his regular identity. I don't know. <laughs> You don't think he's a mild-mannered um, newspaper reporter? I don't think so, is he? Henry Burkerstein here. <laughs> Henry Burkerstein, we have a secret identity. Let's sell it to a supervillain. Yeah, we just want to say thank you so much for all the great memories and uh, growing up. And that's one of the big reasons why we do what we do, because we, we do, the, you know, uh, not as well. trying to keep the tradition alive. And uh, it's going to a great cause, the yeah. charity. Yeah, that's a great cause. Hospital, Akron Children's Hospital. Is that the original? Is that the original outfit? Uh, no, not the the suits. Not the shoes are, but the suits not. I had to remake this and redye it because it got kind of all threadbare and rotten looking. <laughs> well, we just wanted to welcome you back to town and say thank you so much. And I know you got you're gonna have a long line. We don't want to keep any more of your time, but maybe at some later date, maybe we can have more time to chat with you. I moved back to West Virginia from Oregon, so a little, 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 little closer. Right. Sounds, Sounds good. Great. So we just right. want to say thanks and soups on. Soups on. Guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you. As we pay tribute to this legendary host, Marty Superhost Sullivan, we leave you with his last sign off and say, "Thanks for the laughs and memory soup. You were loved and will be missed." Well, that's about all the time, we, and I really mean that's about all the time we got, folks. Time for soup to wrap it up and uh, take off for parts unknown. I would like to thank all of you for all your kindnesses all these years. You've been wonderful. In Northeast Ohio is a class act. So there. Now, I got to go out of here and close up the doors. A lot of young scooby Doo. Okay, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for tuning in over the years. The last 20 years have been great, and mainly due to you, okay? And now, i got to try to find my way to Krypton. So I'll see if I can... Now, nobody wants to stop for the old soup. <laughs> ah, see ya. Krypton? <laughs>